Well, it's one of the first snows of the year and really not a lot of snow, but enough to give this tractor a try. And I did so. And it worked pretty good. I'm not very good at it, but it was my first time ever. So I didn't break anything, but uh, I bought this lawnmower, I don't know, in late in the fall. And then I bought, um, these are the part, these are the, the, G, uh, the, the John Deere part number for the chains on the rears. I mean, I don't know, they're, they're from like a salvage company. I found them at a warehouse or something. Came in like a burlap sack, the pair. And then um, it's like a, it's a 160, it's from like 88. And then I put a, I got a plow for a 180, which is the same, it's just a bigger engine. And I got another plow, two pivots. Those are some sheet metal. And then I had to make a lift link. I'm gonna turn it off so you can hear me. It was on low, that's good. But uh, the only part I didn't have for either plow, so the, it's, there's not too many parts. There's, there's shoes, plow shoes, a plow blade. Then there's this pivoting pin where I'm set to an angle. And this part is part of that. There's two mounting brackets underneath that go, there they are right there. One's there and one's on the other side. This lift link was the part I didn't have. On this end, it's a, it's an eye bolt. I, I made this out of like Home Depot parts. So there's a turnbuckle, this ever built turnbuckle. Be aware, one, one of these holes is uh, right hand thread. One is left hand thread. This is the left hand thread, but it comes through this pin here, cotter pinned, farmer cotter pin here to hold it on. And then it's two foot piece of threaded rod and it just barely works. It's almost too long. Could easily have been a 23 inch piece, but they don't sell that. So it's an ever built turnbuckle, quarter inch. I wanted three eighths, but the three eighths ones are really bad at Home Depot, don't buy those. Two foot to the other turnbuckle. This was an eye bolt that I had to put in a vise. I had to put this in the vise and I had to bend this out because it is the left hand thread and when I bought these, they didn't have left hand threaded um, hooks like that. So I had to bend it out to be a hook because it goes through a hole. And that's a pretty substantial thickness here. I don't know what that is, three eighths. But that lift link, what it does is if I pull back on it and push them, it'll let, let, let the black plow down. Okay, and then there's about that much free play. And then up, and it'll hold it here. And then if you really need it up higher, there is some extra travel. There's actually a substantial amount. So while I'm driving, I'll hold it back like so. This little tiny quarter inch is, it says 150 pound working load on the turnbuckles. I think these are really intended for tightening up uh, I don't know, fences and things, but it worked good. It's only like a 14 horse or 12 horse or something like that, but it worked fine. It starts kind of hard, but it's also kind of cold and it, it hadn't been started. So that is that one. I'll probably make another video here about the bigger tractor we just bought, but that would have made this job a lot faster. So far, so good. Catch you in the next one.